In the 1970s and 80s, environmental laws were passed to protect groundwater and other waterways, ensuring a healthy environment for all living things. Waste management laws required comprehensive management practices to ensure, for example, that underground fuel storage tanks would not leak. Today, the university has a system in place to manage the use, storage, and disposal of hazardous, biological, radioactive, and solid waste. But we also aim to prevent waste problems from occurring in the first place. The university is, is always very mindful of the potential for pollution and is very cautious and takes necessary steps to prevent pollution from entering our stormwater system. Uh, for example, in our construction sites, uh, we take um, steps to avoid um, the possibility of sediments entering into the stormwater system. Um, in our labs, we are very careful to make sure that chemicals and other products are disposed of properly in a way that will not allow them to enter the stormwater system and contaminate them. One of the best management practices that we have is our chemical unloading facility. At this location here, we uh, take deliveries of two of our main boiler water treatment chemicals, which are sulfuric acid and caustic soda. We take this delivery in bulk, 10,000 gallon tanker trucks. We unload here where we have a storm drain that we've cross-connected as well to our neutralizing facility. That neutralizing facility is three batch tanks of 15,000 gallons each. And if there was a leak, we would be able to collect any of that leak up to the entire tanker truck in those batch tanks. The university's emergency response team is comprised of specially trained OSHA staff who respond to any manner of spills that may occur at any time of the day or night at the university. For example, a laboratory may have a spill during working hours that they're unable to cope with either because of the quantity of the spill or the nature of the material that, that's been spilled. And our, our emergency response team are trained to respond quickly, assess the, the scope of the problem, and respond accordingly. Uh, they, the first step is to protect the area from, from the spill spreading any further and then to actually clean it up and finally to dispose of the materials in a responsible manner. The university campus is a vibrant, growing place with construction, renovation and expansion taking place almost continuously. The Occupational Safety and Environmental Management Department participates in the university's growth and land use planning activities. As the university creates a master plan and develops landscape and architectural drawings, proactive environmental management strategies are incorporated into those designs. Stormwater and the appropriate way to deal with it has always been a concern in planning for the University of Michigan campus. But as you know, the university has been developing for a long period of time in Ann Arbor, ever since 1837. And the ways in which we've dealt with it have varied over the years, depending upon societal attitudes and technical and professional solutions available. In the older parts of the campus, to the south of the river, the general philosophy that underlay the approach we took there was to get the stormwater away from developed building areas as quickly as possible via the municipal stormwater system and direct it into established stream and river channels where it could be carried away. The North Campus was acquired after World War II and was developed with a little different philosophy. Generally speaking, the approach to development on North Campus has been to respect the natural environment and the natural features that exist out here and we've tried to preserve the big stands of trees that you see around you and uh, the basic water courses which are, sh are small streams that flow directly to the Huron River. Stormwater management, waste management, and land use planning. In all of these areas, the university is focused on preventing pollution before it becomes a problem. It's an ongoing process and we're always looking for improvements. But the university does not act alone. As part of the university community, 
You and I directly contribute to the environmental management challenges discussed in this program. As students, faculty, and employees, we can apply these same proactive strategies to make the university a safe and protective environment. For example, when cleaning outdoor equipment and vehicles, use as little water as possible or wash the vehicle on the grass. Chemical waste should be disposed of in properly labeled waste disposal containers. Never place household or laboratory chemicals in the trash or a dumpster. And of course, do not dispose of these chemical wastes by pouring them into a stormwater grate or manhole. Household chemicals such as paints, cleaners, and solvents are collected at community disposal and recycling sites or during regularly scheduled hazardous waste collection days. The Occupational Safety and Environmental Health Department regularly conducts environmental training workshops. For example, they train food vendors who work at the stadium during football games and conduct laboratory safety workshops. If you are involved in any of these types of activities, you should participate in one of these workshops. We have presented only a few examples of environmental management at the University of Michigan. For more information, contact the Occupational Safety and Environmental Health Department and see their publications on stormwater. The management approach we've explored today represents environmental protection for the 21st century. It's a management strategy that continues to make the University of Michigan the leaders and the best.